Hello, it's Sarah. I'm working on um, some more tiles today, but I wanted to um, shoot a video. I have been getting quite a lot of questions from you guys from different um, subbies, and maybe some of you haven't watched my videos for as long as others, but, um, and I don't mind answering your questions, but I definitely have filmed a lot of videos on making tiles. I've been doing this for, I think, two years now. I took a class with um, Lori Micah, who is um, a wonderful artist, um, and she started this um, mixed mosaic tiles um, thing for me anyway. I was doing glass mosaic, regular um, tile mosaics. Um, and uh, when I saw that, I, I mean, and actually it was at a jewelry um, convention. So a bead convention. Anyway, uh, that being said, um, I have kind of made it my own. I do it my own style. But a lot of these techniques come from Lori Micah, like the, um, the grout sticks. and. Um, but what I would suggest is if you're interested in this kind of stuff, Google it and enter it into the search bar of YouTube and go to Pinterest and you will come up with, what I do a lot of times when I Google stuff is um, go to the images section. And when you scroll through all the images, the ones that catch your eye or that you find appealing to you, if you click on that picture, a lot of times it'll take you to that page wherever the picture comes from. And then you can learn more and learn more and learn more. So. Um, I am not an authority on clay tiles at all. I just do it for fun I, and I'm sharing what I've learned along the way. But um, please go have a look at um, a lot of my other videos and I am going to share all the, ta um, the, the techniques that I have learned and I have shared most of them. Um, most recently I did the embedding on this one I just I did all these or it's more on the um, I think I did it on the um, breast cancer awareness um, I talked about grouting I remember I know that I just shared that video um, talk about what you know when you bake your towels don't bake the plastic in the oven even though it's a low heat it's only at 275 usually um, probably best to just glue them in afterward that this is Paul I've talked about what type of clay I use all, all those questions um, so I would just take a minute and go search through some of my other videos and also um, other people's videos like I said I mean I I'm not I've only been doing this for a couple of years so there's a lot more um, out there to learn from um, okay so that being said I decided well, my cousin Fran was here. We went to Michael's and we found this, this set of boxes. I got one, two, three, four boxes. I got this big one and it's filled with one, two, and this medium size one. And I think I'm going to cover these with um, tiles. I'm going to do Christmas. I definitely want to do a couple. I think these three are all going to be Christmas because you can keep ornaments in here. Um, these are kind of small, but definitely you could fit a couple ornaments in here and they can just be um, what I do with mine. I've painted a couple of ornament boxes. Um, oops, I'm knocking all my tiles off of here because I'm trying to make another um, mosaic uh, sea themed one. Anywho, um, lost my train of thought. Uh, so yeah, so I want to bring these. The reason I'm kind of, I'm not panicking, but I do start to like feel like I want to get things made that I want to take with me to my craft show because I do one craft show a year and it's at a local firehouse, a, a volunteer firehouse. And um, whatever I don't sell at that craft fair, I am going to bring home and put in my Etsy store. So all these mosaics that I'm sharing now um, and any other little boxes and different things that I have, um, I'm going to put them in my Etsy store. And my husband's like, well, why don't you just do it now? I said, but I, because I, I'm kind of committed to this craft show and I feel like I, I'm kind of expected to, I, I don't know. I just want to 
bring things there. So, all right. Okay, I said that. Now, so for the Christmas ones, I went to AC Moore yesterday. I'm just going to try to move that and not drop it. And I did pick up a few things that I found in the bead section. I just wanted to share that too. There are these little Nicole beads and they're con rhinestone connection, mini pastels. Anyway, no, go around. Kirby's looking at me like, Mom, go see Daddy. Joe, are you there? Yeah. Call her and put, because she's looking at me like she wants something. Kirby, go see, go. She's, she's not listening, Joe. Kirby, go. Oh, here she comes. But look at these. See, I don't even think I'm going to embed these in the clay. I, might, I can just put them in a mosaic the way they are, like fill a space. So I got them. I did, so I did embed this and I did bake this in the clay. And I don't know if I baked off the AB. AB is like the Aurora Borealis. Do you think one's more? I think it's still sparkly enough. But like I did embed that in the clay. Um, I just got these. These are just opaque gems. These are kind of like turquoise. Um, these are, you know, not, but they were all in the same pack. I got a bunch of different, uh, I think there were like maybe 10 in a pack. This one has 25 because they're tiny. And I'll just leave these little tiny ones and maybe stick them in a, um, a little nook or cranny, you know, that I have open. So I was happy to find them. I just, I am a bling person. So like Lori Micah, just to go back a minute, she is very, um, Mexican folk art were are one of her inspirations. Gothic shrines, things like that. Old old things, relics, um, relic or re reliquiums. I forget what they're called, but I tend to go toward more color and cutesy. Um, so, but I take the techniques that I've learned from her and apply them to what I'm doing. So. Um, and she also hand rolls all her clay. She uses a big rolling pin. And I am a pasta machine girl. It is so easy to use a pasta machine. So I did get those and I got a few more buttons. And these were already blinged out seashells. That's pretty much it. I, got, I think I got one pack of charms because I really didn't have a lot of beads left. Oh, no, no. Look what else I got. I'll just show you this real quick. I got... No, you know what? I didn't get them. I had them in my stash, and I hadn't pulled them, but I got this lighthouse. I made that one. The lifeguard stand. I had the mermaids. This pelican. Oh, excuse me. And the seagull. And the sailboat. So I, I put a lot more buttons on this one. This one's going to be a, lo a lot more um, fantasy-ish. Like, not just... This one is more metal pieces. So... Both of them are turning out really pretty though, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. So yeah, but I'm going to use these as tiles. Like that'll fill a space. Um, I have two of them, and then what else? I took this one off. Uh, like, but look at this, this one. Oh my gosh, so gorge. See, I love that. And then this one, I don't know where I took that one from. But they'll fill a space. Um, so like I was just one see I'm kind of all over the place because I um, filmed this yesterday and again I took it off look I even had these guys or I didn't take it off but I didn't film it or put it up because I just get all over the place I don't know why I am but look I have palm trees these are just have been in my stash and I just so I narrowed it down I kind of think that's going to be good enough but this is an, again another cute cute theme that you could just put your your vacation picture in right for in a picture frame um, so I got to get this glued I'm, it's starting to come together and I wanted to talk about this so I decided to I made some more <clears throat> I bought the big block of Sculpey 3 now, Sculpey 3, you can tell, it says Sculpey 3, three capital I's or ones, right? Um, <clears throat> and this is the big block of the white Sculpey 3, and that's what I used to paint on. So I did all these yesterday. I made some more um, geometric ones because I ran out of them. So I'm going to paint these now, and I'm going to paint these. So 
in my um, Christmas piece, I'm going to pull it down. I use these these um, stamps. All these stamps here. This one, the bell, the package. So I have two bells, two packages, and the stocking. Um, and here's Santa's boots. I have this candle. So all of these are on here, but they're and this one too. This is the um, stained glass window and this came from a different set and I did it here and I used my um, metallics uh, no not what am I talking about my perfect pearls and this tile I have to glue that it looks like it got chipped um, my perfect pearls the same thing I colored most of these with my perfect pearls here's a Santa you know what I forgot to do him I want to do another Santa Here's my little penguin. I want to do another penguin too. But I just colored these with the perfect pearls. And I like it for this piece. That's all I needed to do. And I didn't even, I didn't stamp this little bird with, with ink. But I just thought, let me try and stamp a few of these things with ink and see how it goes. So I'm so excited about this one. This is going to turn out so cool. I did it on white paper. I just stamped it. Actually, I embossed it with silver embossing powder. And I should have embossed it with black. Because you know how stained glass windows, it's all black. What? You get it yourself. She always, oh, oh Lord. It's her ball. But, um, so I'm going to go away and come back and show you what these look like painted. And I have a feeling they're going to look pretty darn cool. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I, I painted the tiles. And guys, I have to say, it's a lot of work. Like, seriously? So I'm going to do a box, right? How many tiles are going to fit on here? If the, at this size, not very many. So that's the thing. I'm going to have to keep them smaller. But it could be like a focal tile on other pieces. So for these, actually, um, they're not going to be as, as good for this. Um, we'll see. But I want to show you the difference. I did those. And I used what was on my desk, pretty much. I used... Um, some primary red, but then I used a lot of pearls. Uh, this is the red I used. It's called Hollyberry. And it, it almost looks pink. I did pull some sh opaques afterward. So I think I would paint it in opaque colors and then highlight with my pearls in the future. But then, look what happens when you add stickles. I love the stickles. So here's one without, one with. Um, look how pretty. And then this one, it's just the Santa boots. So I'll zoom in on them. And I love it with the stickles. So that just adds a ton more for your, for your buck or whatever I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? So here's without, and I, I painted them different. I gave this one a gold uh, ribbon, but I really love it with the stickles. So let's add, I'll add the stickles, and I'll show you what I mean. So let's add stickles to this package. And I just squirt it on. And this kind of acts as a varnish as well. Because it is glue, it'll kind of seal the piece as well since I painted on it. So now, see it without here and then with. I love it. It just adds like, it looks like frosting, you know. So I tend to go for the stickles. And I'm sure any glitter glue would work for this. The clear. This is the clear. And I think I ran out of diamond. This is called crystal now. And they're all a little bit different, but these have fine glitter in them. Some of them have chunkier glitter. 
So look at that. And then this one I did too. Should I add stickles to it? I think I have to. What the heck? It just, it kind of makes it pop too. It magnifies it a little bit, I think. But it just looks more Christmassy like that, doesn't it? So all I did for these was stamp um, these Christmas uh, stamps. And they are basically just dollar stamps. I think I got most of them. I put them away. I put them over there now um, in the dollar bin or something. At, uh, I think these were at AC Moore. I used my archival ink. So this is just the Jet Black archival ink. Um, gently stamp it into the raw clay and then bake it. And then paint it and treat it just like you would anything else. And you have these little painted tiles. And then I bling them out with my stickles. So yeah, these are gonna be a little big for these boxes, but I think maybe a couple on this box would be nice. And like a merry, and then put Merry Christmas or something. I think that could be pretty. But you know what, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, this is a lot of work. You're putting in a lot more work, time, effort, all that good stuff. So if you want to crank these out, it's not something that you crank out. It's something that is, you know, kind of more of a, uh, one of a, one of a kind piece. So, all right, you guys, I'm still working on these mosaics, but I'll be back. Thanks for watching.